Hello and welcome to Somewhat Unbiased. So the Type R is going to become in three flavors for 2020 and 2021. The yellow one is going to be a limited edition and um, they're only going to make 1,000 of them. So uh, 600 is going to be for the United States, which expect to get ridiculous amount of price on that one. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like 80K or something like that because dealerships are fucking you know, stupid with the prices. And then in the middle you have the GT, which is just the regular touring version for United States. And the sport line is only available in Europe as of now. Just that's just now. And so the difference is they took away the spoiler. So it doesn't have the spoiler, it comes with the nineteen inch rims as well. So let's go ahead and watch this video real quick. get two front brakes is oh yeah new color if you notice in Europe they don't have touring and any of that they have the type R in different trims but in the United States we only have one trim and that is the touring so it would be nice if we get the Sportline edition R which still gives you that you know, high power motor. Um, everything else is just, you know, cake. And so the sport line is kind of like, um, like a Civic hatchback touring, and they just put the Type R motor in it, and uh, just change like the front. They change everything like the front, the sides, etc. But it just looks like a Civic Sport with a with a SI <laughs> SI spoiler. That's that's what it looks like, and smaller rims. And so, the benefit of this is it's gonna have. I'm assuming the price is gonna be cheaper. It has to be cheaper comparing to the touring version. I'm sure you're getting more like less features in the car. <laughs> And then you got the Phoenix Yellow, which is the limited edition I was talking about. And they're using a different tire as well. The other Type R had a, it came with uh, Continentals. So this, Europe is only getting 100, damn, we're getting more. We're getting 600 of them. Which is dope, but can't afford it because you know they're gonna want an arm and a leg and a liver or a kidney or two. So, anyway, it was just a short little video. Um, the refresh looks so far, I don't know, I feel like they just added some of all that, all that stuff on there just, just to change it so it doesn't seem like there's a bunch of plastic fake vents. Um, anyway. So the 2020 Civic Type R is going to be costing $36,995, which is about $695 more than the previous model, which is the 2018-2019. Uh, let's see, there's 13% larger opening on the front grille. New radiator core helps improve cooling. Um, the model also revised the color palette, so you got that uh, new blue. Honda say the letter is slightly deeper. Left and right sides includes new rub stuck sections with D light air back onto the spoiler. Moving into the cabin, the model features a new Alcantara wrapped steering wheel as well as new shift lever with restyled knob. Honda says the knob recalls one used on previous Type R model and features a 90 gram counterweight, which helps to improve shift feel and accuracy. On the tech front, the Type R gains an engine sounder enhancer. Which is, you shouldn't do that. The car sounds good as it is. We don't need an enhancer. And I noticed that this is a trend for Honda. They're starting to put all these enhancers into the other cars as well. Which, it doesn't need it. The SI has sound enhancers. It doesn't need it, Honda. It's fine. Besides, you can just put an exhaust in it and it still sounds good anyway. But anyway. It comes with Honda Sensing driver assistance systems. The letter includes adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, and 
collision mitigation brake system. Do not use that feature for goodness sake. Just turn all that shit off. Other highlights include lane keeping assist. Maybe you could use that one. And road departure mitigation lane departure warning. Another addition is a data logger, which is cool too. Check it out. We'll play that video for y'all. I actually thought this is a really cool feature. But anyway. This is going to be a really nice feature for people that like to track their cars. And it's only going to be available in the 2021 or 20, I'm sorry, 2020 Civic Type R. should be able to put it on the other R's because they're still using the same infotainment system. <laughs> uh, so far, what they have to offer compared to price, it's really nice that they give you all these features with the car and the price is not you know crazy compared to but then again you know what the deal is going to be charging for for the car is going to be completely different than how much honda actually wants to sell the car for if they sold it at the msrp price at every dealership they would make their money back like like those cars would be flying out of the shelves literally like flying out because it's a really great price for the amount of power and all the technology, everything that you get in the car. The Log R has three primary functions, including a performance monitor, which shows critical information such as soil, coolant temperatures, oil atmosphere pressure, engine intake air temperature, and gear position. The performance monitor can also display a G meter, a 3D view, which provides a bird's eye view, visual of the car's pitch, roar, and yaw, similar to what one might see in a high-end racing video game. Log mode is entirely different. B says it helps drivers improve their lap times. As part of this process, the system uses GPS sensor data to show where drivers are accelerating, braking, and doing other dynamic things. The information is then shown in a green, yellow, and red indicate <laughs> indicate progression. Honda says the ultimate goal of this is to encourage smooth use of clutch, shifter, steering, brakes, and accelerator, keeping the car in balance, and this <laughs> improving the overall driving skills. Not just the skills required for a particular track. Lastly, LogR has an auto score function which monitors the driver's behavior by tracking inputs, acceleration, this deceleration and steering it calculates a score for each of those parameters as well as an overall score in effect it encourages drivers to get better over time <laughs> getting back to the car is powered by the same 306 horsepower 295 pounds of torque the engine is connected to a six-speed manual transmission which sends power to the front wheels via limited slip differential so the core of the car is still there they're just adding on to it um, I just can't wait to see what they do in the future. Maybe an uh, all-wheel drive Honda Civic Type R. <laughs> While the engine carries over from suspension, has been equipped with stiffer bushing and new ball joints. The adaptive dampers, adaptive damper system has also been improved as now it evaluates road condition <laughs> 10 times faster than its predecessor. Honda says this results in improved damper reactions which help to improve the ride quality and handling response finally the civic type park gains an upgraded braking system with two-piece rotors improved pads which are more fade resistant the new braking system is also lighter as it helps to reduce unsprung weight by approximately five freaking pounds all righty then overall this is a really good upgrade to the car and they're not asking on the arm and a leg and the kidney but the dealership will
they're still asking over 10 grand for the car at certain dealerships. Um, some want 5k over. Um, it's just insane. <laughs> so for that limited edition, since they're only making about 600 of those cars, I do believe they're going to mark the shit out of them. So if you are looking for one, I say good luck. Unless you know somebody at the dealership or you have some sort of hookup where you can get a great price for one. Otherwise, you're going to get fisted. But anyway, this is somewhat unbiased and this is the captain. I am out.